Today, I have a program that a lot of people have been asking about, but the best thing is, is that it's free. Now, I use it mainly for Pokemon Go, but I also use it to show my little gremlin cats because I use this as a second camera as well. So if I want to show something else in the room, like the cats, I don't have to play around with this one. There's my kitty there. There we go. So I'm using this as the second camera now, and you can see that on the screen. Hey guys, how are you going? Metal here. Today I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror your phone to your stream. Now the program that I use is Skr... Script... Skr... Skr... For the purpose of the video, I'm going to call it Scripty. Now unfortunately Scripty is for Android only. Now I know there are some Apple ones out there, including some paid ones that are pretty good and also allow you to do it wirelessly, but sometimes they can be a little bit inconsistent. But Scripty I've never had a single problem with. It's free and very, very consistent. Now I'm going to put the download link for this down in the description below, but there's a couple of steps that you need to do to make sure that works, because if you don't follow these steps, it's not going to work. Now I'm going to show you what we need to do on the Scripty program later on in the video, but for now, what we need to do first is we need to go to your phone. So what we need to do first is to enable developer mode, because what you can actually do once it's all plugged in and working, is you can actually control your phone with your mouse and your keyboard, which is obviously not a normal thing you can do with your phone when you plug it into your computer. So let's get into developer mode. Okay, to get developer mode, the first thing we need to do is to go into our settings. So you click on the cog in the top right corner here, and then you go down to the very bottom to about phone. When you click on that, you're going to click on software information. And now from here, you click on build number. Now, if I click on build number, it says no need developer mode has already been enabled because obviously I have developer mode on now so I can show you the demo. And if I turned it off to go through the full demo with you, then I wouldn't be able to screen share it. So I already have developer mode on, but what you do is you have to click on build number seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you've done that, a little pop-up will come up saying developer options are available. So now when I go back to the settings, down at the very bottom below about phone, you can see developer options. And from here, all you have to do is to turn it on. Okay, so that was easy enough. If you're liking the video so far, make sure you chuck it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't before. And if you want to see a couple of uses of Scripty, make sure you check out the Twitch channel as well. And if you have any questions or anything like that, you can check me out in the channel and ask me, or you can just drop a comment down below. I'll be happy to help you. Now that we have developer mode on, we can start up Scripty. So I've nicknamed my folder phone display. When I double click on this, we've got a few programs here, but we want to look for this one here, which is just SCRCPY. So when I double click on it, it's going to open up uh, a coding window. Now mine opened up on my other monitor, but this is what it would look like. This is the screen you're looking for, because give that a couple of seconds and then your phone display is going to come up and you can see I've got Pokemon Go up here. If you don't get this coding window, you get another one that's filled with code. That means something didn't work. Maybe developer mode's not on, maybe your phone's not plugged in properly, or sometimes a little pop-up will come up and you just have to click yes. It says, do you want to share your information with your computer? You have to click yes, because if that's not enabled yet, then you won't be able to um, do this. And as I said earlier, I can control all of this with my mouse and keyboard as well if I want to. I can go through everything here. Okay, so on OBS, we're going to add a source. Then we need to go to Windows Capture, and I'm just going to call it Phone. And then from here, we've got to choose, choose Scripty, SM, whatever. So then from here, I can click OK, and now I've got my phone display that I can choose to put on my screen. And that's it, easy. Once you've done developer mode and everything like that, all you have to do is double click on Scripty, the program will up, and your phone will capture and it'll be up as well, and it's nice and easy. All done. Just a couple of tips though to make sure everything runs smoothly. You have to keep the coding box and the capture to screen up and not minimize. If you minimize it, your screen capture on your stream will actually freeze. So I keep it up and then I just put it behind OBS so you can't see it anyway. And that means just everything keeps running. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. I'd love to hear about in the comments down below what you're going to use Scripty for on your stream. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't before, chuck a like and check me out at twitch.tv slash metalfear4 where I'd love to talk about this sort of stuff with you. See you in the next one guys.